Hello guys and welcome back to episode 2 of Medieval Total War 2 Let's Play with me, Langer Gaming. Um, if you didn't watch the previous episode, episode 1, there will be a link in the description below. I suggest you start with that one. At the end of last episode, uh, we finished up with the battle where we took Smyrna from the rebels. So, I think to start this one off, the best thing to do would be repair our Mott and Bailey. Perhaps an upgrade, 1,200 florins. Yeah, let's give it an upgrade to a wooden castle to make it a bit safer. Um, we previously made allies with the Turks and Hungary. We was looking to develop our economy, if you remember. So, I think the aim for today's episode can be to get our market up and running in Constantinople and start really pushing these merchants out. Uh, once we get trade rights with other factions we'll be able to get these merchants further out into the world and earning us a nice little income from the merchant trade. So, these are all tired so they've finished the journey. The upgrade there, build the market here. Thessalonica's building a land clearance. I think we can actually start this t uh, video by ending the turn. Yeah. Okay, end turn. Again, nothing much happened yet, and we've got a new mission. Um, take Rebel Settlement, target roads, you'll be rewarded with some of the best units currently available. So, probably the uh, Varaditori, Vara um, the Missile Cavalry is probably yes, what we'll get for completing that mission. So, how long have we got? We've got 15 turns, so we've got plenty of time. Um, we'll start building a little bit of an army in Corinth. Varda. I don't know, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Um, control square. So if we bring down a general, so this is this is the target we've got to try and take roads. If we bring down a general up here, Orders. we'll pop him into Smyrna for now. Um, and we'll start building an army from Corinth. This is uh, probably our best place to build an army with the castle. Um, travel is across by this fleet. Orders. Pick up the general yes, and attack over here in a couple of turns. So we're going quite well at the minute. Now what's this? Right, we're coming into a Venetian territory here. Very well. So hopefully we can On my find way. Royalty means it's uh, no a Venetian city or, or army Not for us to Manu. enter into diplomacy with. He's not good. Yes, my lord. We're looking for this diplomat to come down into Egypt. He's not going to be used for a long time. So we've got 4,000 florins, and this is the advantage of, of setting your economy up early. We're not struggling for money. We aren't at war with any factions that are going to be a drain on our resources. And as you can see, we've got really good projected profits. Obviously, this is before we've spent anything, so that will come down. Um, can see my minings and coming in, my farmings, bringing an income from the land clearances that we made. Uh, merchant at the minute is not making very, very little, but we we can get that up hopefully by the end of this episode. And trade, once we get some more trade rights, we will start getting a lot more. Engage me, or um, a lot more in the trade, which which is good. It's all about getting that early economy developed so you can fund wars later on. Um, I think what I'll do is we talked at the, the start of episode one about um, making sure Constantinople's defences are pretty good, so that may be a thing for us to look at at some point soon. But for now, we'll just continue yes. with that development of the economy. Um, land clearance again over here after that's upgraded. Thessalonica. This can become quite a good, a good place for for getting a bit of money. Um, I think you can get double mines once this is up Ready and running. To 
That's 41 florins, so it might be worth bringing him down here. No, okay, I'm happy with him on there for now until we can get him over to that silver. Yes. Full sails. Take a unit of Auditora as well. And we'll go for some more land clearance. A bit boring at the minute we've just had the land clearance and not much war. But like I said, it's building that early economy. Uh, I think we can train a priest as well. Oh no, we can't agent limit reached. So what we'll do in, in Smyrna is we'll get a church up and going. ASAP as well. Small Orthodox church that can be nice here, we can have that. Iraklion, what can we do over here? Ah, I've got some mines here, so next turn we can build some mines in Iraklion. Well, in a couple of turns, we'll, we'll do the church and the roads first. Okay, end turn. Now, with there being a lot of factions, it takes a while. Okay, so a suitable prince now. Anna Comnenus, I think her name is. That is our princess here. So if we accept this, our princess will disappear off the map. But I'm not quite ready for that yet, so I don't really want to accept. He's 43 years old, so he's quite old, he's got poor command. Um so I don't really I don't really want him just yet. We've got more use out of our Your princess Majesty. to come. Um, in terms Very of creating well. alliances and I like I said at the start the of episode 1 we want to marry her off to the Holy Roman Empire. Now this isn't great, poor relations with papal states can be bad. Uh, they can call crusades on Constantinople and that can leave you in a really bad place. Um, if you've got all, all of Christendom coming down on you, yeah, you could be in trouble. So what we'll do is we will Hello, Your Highness. divert the princess for now. Am I after a over suitor or to the a papal simple states agreement? and get an alliance with them as soon as possible. An order? Um, I think there is a city just up here. On my way. Today's journey. I'm pretty sure there's ends. a city just here, so we'll see who's got control of that city. Today's journey ends. Orders. You know, we're gonna come down into smooth. Move out. You Orders. guys can go over here. Move on. Um, I think I'll bring a town with No, no, it'll just take too long to get down there. Yes. So we'll bring a Byzantine spearman. Oh, actually, tomorrow, yeah, I think I think I'm pronouncing that wrong. I Orders. think it's actually Byzantine. So I'll try and pronounce it right from now on. But I can't guarantee I'll get it right every time. Obviously, Byzantine's the way I've decided to naturally say it. Some more land clearance. I mean, you can see my income from farming is 1411. And once these are built, we'll start seeing a real big increase in farming income. Right, um, build an army here, this is going on here, that's fine. Uh, we should have a spy, hopefully you can build a spy, yep. Yeah. I'm tempted. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll build a couple of drums and I'll send a diplomat over by ship to the Papal States. I think that'll be quicker than having my princess walk all the yes. way around so I'll, I'll keep her Loyalty going up into the Holy Roman Empire where I intended in the first place I shall stop here for the night. and I'll bring a boat round with a diplomat uh, to Rome okay I think that's all we can do for that turn One thing I am quite keen to do is uh, 
made this let's play as interactive as possible um, so I usually do my uh, I'll, I'll probably do most of my recording on a Saturday um, Saturday in the day because I'm not working on a Saturday I've got more time so we'll release a video possibly on a Sunday and a Wednesday uh, if I've got time to, to put them out on them days that's possibly when we could release the videos um, so we can basically decide the um, sort of the progress of, of the of the next two episodes um, after after a Wednesday episode after every second episode so if you want to leave comments below about what you would like to see uh, whether you'd like us to wage war over this side and the Egyptians perhaps take the islands um, yeah but let's make it as interactive as possible and you guys can make some suggestions Where to and I can then act on them suggestions and and try and get you guys involved as much as possible at the end of the day if, if you're watching it's, it's only Hello, fair that Highness. you get input into on what you're way. watching royalty needs its rest my lord so after every sort of Wednesday episode if you want to leave some suggestions in the comment box as to the, w the way we can take the let's play anything at all whether you want to see a particular building being built um, in, in a settlement if you want to see a settlement overtaken if you want to see a change of emphasis obviously our emphasis at the minute is, is economy perhaps you guys just want to see blood and guts and slaughter so we change our emphasis onto an attack and we start taking some of these settlements maybe something to think yes. about Move out. Okay, so I think... Oh, I forgot to train a, a couple more units here, didn't I? Um, we'll just take one more unit about Byzantine Spearman. I think we could probably afford to build a bow here, um, so we can start training archers at Corinth. Um, yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine, completely fine. As you can see, we've got a bit more income from farming. That should go up again soon. Your Majesty. These guys are coming in to see her. And there's not much more we can do on this turn. I think... I'm pretty sure there's a city up here. Yeah. Okay, so that's still a rebel settlement. So we're not going to get anything from them as of yet. But there's a lot of rebel settlements around here, so there is a lot of scope for expanding without actually pissing people off too early. I do, as I said, need to get over to the Papal States, though. That, that's pretty vital for me at the minute. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, drop down a bit in production, but that's fine. That's going to shoot right back up soon once these land clearances come in. And again, it, I mean, in the early stages of the game, there's not really an awful lot to do, so we'll end the turn there. Yep, our production shot right back up there. Um, let's have a look at the diplomacies. Is anybody else? I think we're the only ones who's got allies so far. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. What that means is no one else is warring, so it gives us a real good scope for for getting allies. Yes. And where's the city around here? Logic would dictate is in this area, but Very well. I don't think it is. Ah, I think it's up here. On my way. Because this oh, I there's a Venetian the diplomat, so we'll have a chat with him if we can reach him. No, we can't. Unfortunately, it's a bit out of range. Orders. Okay, so we'll send these yes. men over. Mark. Right, and we'll send this over here. Yes, my lord, your majesty. To my pick lord. up an army. Uh, this general's going to yes. be commanding them. Vangelos Exotrokos. And he can take... Ooh. Uh, 
Let's give him a, yard, yes. a large unit. Mark. His time is a bit long. What if he's gone here? Yes. Okay, that's fine. That should easily be enough to take roads. It's only a rebel settlement, and we'll get some nice units for it. Uh, one thing you do want to balance is your army upkeep. You don't want to go all out with too many infantry stuff because as you can see that's the my very much my main expenditure army upkeep every unit that you have will incur some costs to keep them fed and sheltered uh, if you have a free upkeep unit uh, that usually comes from your upgrades so here five free upkeep units Uh, I think next term we can look at merchants. I think I think we'll have another merchant available to us next turn, so we'll we'll start moving them out. Once we get the alliance with the Holy Roman Empire, Hello, your these Highness. resources will become available to trade, and that's why I'm going to send my merchant straight up, straight away. Florence, this Milanese merchant ain't great. He's only got two you. finance. I think mine's got three, maybe four. So we'll perhaps attempt an acquisition on him when we go over here if he's still not particularly strong. Um, a spy, we'll send him, I think we'll send him up into this settlement here, I mean 94, oh! Hungary have taken it. Okay, so Hungary have taken this settlement, that means this settlement is a bit cut off for us and it's under siege as well. So it's probably best if we focus our energy on rebel settlements in this area. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send... Oh no, can't afford it, but I'll send him out anyway. In the next turn we'll build a watchtower. Ah, here's a rebel settlement, so that may be our next strategy. I think the rebel settlement for this will be over here. Your Majesty. Okay, and so... Trust him. Now we know there was a roll of something over here, so we'll, we'll wander over this way with our spy. Smyrna, uh, Smyrna, sorry. I don't really want to put too much resources into this place. It's not going to be a key city for us. Um, the Turks hopefully will remain allied for a long time. I'd rather attack the Egyptians than the Turks. So this will be our main military point. It's not going to be a key place for us, so we're yes, not going to sink too much into it because yes. I don't, don't want to waste the money. Now, yeah, this has got a tiny garrison, two town militia and one unit of archers. So yes, my, yes, my we lord. should be able to just come over here. Orders? Build yes, up some. This is where units. we shall meet the enemy. Siege Main units siege. and, and take, take that without too much lord? of an issue. Let's train a unit of archers just to reinforce that Sir, area. I simply cannot do this. My princess Hello, is going to come forward. Very Aha! How am I to serve Abby? I shall speak. Is there something to discuss? I'm so what man. we'll do is we'll first get the alliance with Holy Roman Empire started. Uh, wealth and the Eagles, they've not got a lot of money but they've got some money. As you can see the proposal balance is very generous so let's see what we can get out of them. Let's see if we can get a couple of thousand florins out of them. Five turns. Make offer. I doubt the Kaiser Perfect. Will be happy okay, so I have accepted. Uh, we've got the alliance, we've got the trade rights, we've got a, a straight up initial payment of 500 florins, and then from each turn for the next five turns, we're going to get 300 florins. Goodbye, my uh, as can be seen, yeah, diplomacy and tributes, and we've, we've still got another 500 florins from someone, the Turks possibly. Peace faction declared an alliance, proving the strength of security for the people. Fantastic. Okay, so here is a Polish princess. Yes. 
We'll talk to her if possible. I think I might bring this up more yes, towards Russia because oh, a princess will hit most people in journey ends. in Europe. Now this merchant should be able to trade over here now, hopefully. I don't know whether they need to build mines, but I don't Ready think to they trade. do. Okay, so we can trade the dyes. Not the silver, apparently. Whether this is a different province, I don't think it is, though. Possibly, yeah, yeah, I think it's probably down to the fact that they haven't built mines in there yet, so. It's an untapped resource, essentially. But I'll send him over here anyway. Although he is As getting less wish. money off that dive than he would be off the silk back home. And we're losing the income for the time he's travelling. Once they get their minds up, that's going to be pretty lucrative. So I want to I want to be over there ready for it. Okay, so I think we can upgrade our... Um, garrison quarters. Ah, no, mines. That's what we'll go for. Mines. So again, we're going to get another income, 200 from in mining on this one. And we're just all setting up that nice economy. Yes. Maintain yes. the siege over here. Crossing for battle. This mine's fine. Corinth. Maybe a port. Yeah, we'll build a port, because obviously if we're going to be training a lot of troops in Corinth, it's good to have a port so we can get them out as quick as possible if there's no ships in the vicinity. Ah, and then be diplomat. No He's going to no. come onto these drones. And you're going to come and get dropped off. Floating course so now. yeah, I mean that's much quicker than it would have took my princess This is as far to as we go today, my lord. Your Majesty. In time. Ah, I forgot about the watchtower. Okay, so we're probably coming down into. But my lord, I know, still go rebel settlement. Wow, a lot, a lot of rebels in this area. Naturally, my lord. That's fine. Work over there. Okay, so we'll enter into dip to be diplomatic Hello, relations Highness. with. An honor, my lord. How may I help you? Polish alliance and trade rights. Well, bankrupt. They've got pretty much no money at all. So we'll go for map information. And a regular tribute of perhaps maybe 300 for 5. Maybe 10 turns. No, no, that's greedy. Let's go for 7 turns. I do not think you would accept in my position. You have another proposal then. Well, I'm not going to get any money out of these, I don't think, because I don't think they have any money, so we'll, we'll I have throw no this one at them. This plan at all. I Farewell, then, my lord. Got the map information. They've got quite a decent settlement. The good thing is we're getting increased charm yeah, on our princess, which means she's going to be able to marry a better general. It's just a case of finding one now, I guess. We forgot to ask for the map information. The royalty me. needs its rest, my lord. Hello, Your Highness. I shall approach this delicately. Representing our people. Someone to see? Naturally, my lord. Alright. Your will. Time yes, to assault. I think this is where we shall meet the enemy. We can probably play this battle. Yeah, let's play it out. It shouldn't take too long. 
and then we'll probably wrap the episode up after that. Let's Men, go. Bring our people honor, glory, and most of all, victory! So with having a siege tower, a ladder and a ram, I think we'll just throw all three out with infantry units. Three points of contact. I'd imagine their archers will be behind the walls because they're not going to be on the walls. And they must be on the walls because siege tower. Yeah, so we'll slaughter the archers off the walls. Units, I wait my orders. Then rush in and take out the rest of my infantry. Um, I don't want my archers on siege tower. Very nasty weather conditions. It's fine. Okay, so they don't appear to have anyone on the walls. Oh, sorry, that's because we haven't started the battle yet, so I can't see him yet. Uh, but I'm happy with how it is. Uh, ladders will come up to the right. Around the middle. Sorry, siege tower at the left. Around in the middle. See start at the left and ram in the middle. And look at bringing the cavalry in behind that missile cavalry. Archers with missile cavalry. General rides at the back and then a unit will follow him. A unit of spearmen will follow in the ram. So let's start that battle. Send the ram at the gates. Siege tower at the wall. Ladder at the wall. Now we can actually run that ladder in, so we'll run it in as quick as possible. Have they got spearmen here? Time will show you. Yeah, they are. Um, is there general? The archers? Could be. Let's have a look at them. Yeah, so they're general unit of archers, so that, that's pretty good for us because we can just run at the cavalry and destroy their general quite quickly. Right, so with our spearmen being at the wall now, we're probably going to take the wall so we can start bringing our men up. Men have reached the walls with their ladders. Looks like they might try and hold the gates. Boom! Open the gates and they can attack. Our siege towers have reached the walls. Now the butcher's work begins. Interesting. Obviously, decided the best bet is to make an attack and the running back in. But if we can follow them in, which we can, we'll take control of the gates. Battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Uh, I'm going to set everyone to guard mode because we don't want them chasing in and getting killed by the spear militia. I think my ram's in the way here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you to pick up this ram. Give grace to God. We have captured the enemy's walls. Because I can't really tell what's going on here. I don't like it.
Luckily these are routing now, so obviously we would beat them. But I didn't like how that went at all. Uh, they did quite a good job of rushing me then the game. Which meant that I wasn't ready. So hopefully when these idiots pick up a ram. Bring our uh, archers in now to, to fire on these. Hopefully that ram will be out of the way of the gate soon. Do. I'm gonna bring my uh, missile cavalry in. I don't want to hide missile cavalry. Um, but it's one of the things that Byzantine have at the start. So it's one of these standard units. I don't like using them. Once I get further into the game, I'll be putting them on. My arch is now in. City, so these have got a better shot on these. And we've got some spearmen coming forward. So we are going to protect our cavalry with our own spearmen. I'm going to turn off skirmish mode because. I want them to hold the position for the fire. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. I'm hoping that we can get in at the other side. Like so. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle and the battle is Move his men. our men forward. Attack with all spearmen to get rid of this unit. My archers can move forward too. Let's bring them up. Is that the last unit? Apparently it is. Excellent. Let's 
so everyone just attack now, everyone's on the offensive. I'm gonna finish these off pretty quickly. Speed up a bit. We are blessed! The enemy general is dead! We have sent the idiot to hell! And take guard mode off, so everyone just attacks outright. Without waiting. Cool. So get everyone in there. It's unwise to oh, raise the day before sunset, but how excellent! Our men have taken control of the castle. I'd rather these didn't kill all my own men, so we'll take their fire enough. Just a matter of time now before these last units are killed. All of Christendom will be awed Excellent. by the victory we have won here today. It's a decent victory, not too bad. Probably could have played the, the first situation a little bit better with the, the gates, but yeah, okay, not bad at all. No guys, like I said, um, hopefully uh, if, if you're watching these videos and you're liking it and you want to you we carry on, we can make this into they an interactive not. journey uh, between myself and, and you, the viewers. Yours, um, so, I'd like to see your... Uh, your suggestions and your comments for the, any, for, the, for the Let's Play series, any feedback you may have or any recommendation suggestions for going forward in the series so i think we'll end the episode there um so thank you for watching and as always have a nice day